Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components. In this tutorial, we want to learn together about LCF statement and also a statistics statement in robot programming. I already have this layout. If I go to cell graph, you'll see that I have a conveyor, a feeder, a conveyor sensor, and also a generic articulated robot. And in this tutorial, I'm not going to go through details of robot programming. There are more videos about it on our academy. So please go ahead and learn about those on your own course. Here I'm going to focus only on LCF statement and also set state statement for the robot. But first things first, I'm going to connect our sensor to the robot. So I'm going to inform the robot that a part is arriving. So let's go to program tab. What I'm going to do when a cylinder arrives here, I'm just going to inform the robot that the cylinder is there and then we will print in the output first cylinder arrived, second cylinder arrived and then third and then stop the simulation. This is the whole thing I'm going to do and then also set statistic so that we will have robot states calculated for us. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to say let's wait until cylinder is arrived. So the sensor value over here will be true. After that, we will set the robot state actually before that. So there is the statement here, set state for the statistics of the robot. And it has different robot states like warm up, break, idling, and so on. First, I'm going to start a very beginning of the simulation with idle state in the robot. Then the cylinder arrives. What I'm going to do next is to have a counter of the parts. So let's click on the main program, integer value, and then let's create a part counter. And the initial value is zero. So then there is the if statement. And now what we have here next to this if statement, there is one then and then one else. What we can do is to actually add more else if statements here in the middle. The condition of the if statement here is if the count is equal to zero, then execute first part of the if condition. What I'm going to do then is to change the robot state busy because most probably the robot will be doing something. Of course, in this tutorial, I'm just going to inform the robot and print in the output panel that first part is arrived. So I'm going to print first part arrived. And then after that, we will add one to the counter. So there is the assign value. So the count value will increase by one. And then let's put some kind of delay. So the robot is doing something that's for the sake of statistic calculations. And then in the else if condition, as you can see, else if also has its own condition in case the count equals to one, then we should say the second part arrives. So I'm going to just copy simply these statements and paste them here. And then here I'm going to say that second part arrived. Add one to the counter, delay for a couple of seconds. And then here in the next else if condition, the count could be equal to two. Then same thing but saying that third part arrived. And in the last part, the else, I want to say if we get here, which is the fourth cylinder, I'm gonna print stop the program and put a halt statement afterwards. So if I press play now, if 
first cylinder arrives. Nice, printed. Oh, the second parts are not printed. Why is that? So if I just click on the robot and go to executor. So the robot program is not looping. So this program is run only once. Let's activate it. So now the program, the first time, first part arrived, then second part arrived, and then third part arrived, and then we call it a day. So stop the robot. One thing I would still do is to, after the if statement, if you remember, we are setting the state to be busy, but then right away we are running the whole if loop and go back to state to be idle. But with a wait statement, so wait for input 100 to be false, meaning that wait until the part leaves the sensor, then go back to the beginning of the program and set the robot state to be idle. And then if I just quickly click on the robot and go to home tab, click on statistics. Well, you see that I already have some statistics table here. Click on state while the robot is chosen. So choose the robot state. Basically, then you will have the simulation runtime state of the robot. And then here I have the interval on one second. Of course, performance wise is the higher the better, as much as you need it. And then you see that we printed information about the parts and this information are informed by the robot. Then meanwhile, you can do some other task if you want. So teach the robot to pick the part and so on with different conditions in the else if, and then calculate the statistics for that. In this case, we have 66% idling and 66.67, and then 33.33 .33 to be busy robot. Well, right now, as you see, the robot is idling quite a lot, so we could make some changes to it. But basically, this was the purpose of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And to learn more about robot programming, go ahead and look at our academy. Have a good one and bye for now.